evening. It is Saturday, November 22nd at 10 a.m. and we are at the Deltaplex with Comic-Con. We are showing off some pretty cool stuff this weekend. We've got the 3D printers, which Jerry is manning. And we printed some cool stuff yesterday. And then we've also got some of the more arts and crafts things here that people can do. We brought the embroidery machine and the heat press and some examples of stuff that you can make with it. And we brought the ring launcher and of course the big booms. We've had a lot of people really want us to show off the big booms. I'll show you why we're not in a few minutes. Over here we've got um, the demo videos and the thing everybody wants to see, the musical Tesla coil which is exciting even to people who said, hey, I saw that at Maker Fair. That was really cool. They then stood in front of it and watched it for another 10 minutes. We put some particularly nerdy music on it, which is kind of fun. And we had a lot of fun yesterday. We are going to be here today until 7 and tomorrow until 5. One of the more popular things at the event this weekend Batmobile. I know. thought I would show you all a little bit of some of the cool stuff that they've got going on this weekend. We got the opportunity to check it out yesterday, which was really great. I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of our staff members are kind of into this kind of thing. So it was really fun for everybody to do an event where they also got to have fun. It just opened, so it's not really busy yet. But people were waiting outside to come in. So we will have updates for you throughout the day. So I have been tasked with showing you guys some of the cooler things around here. So first, we have Legos. This is rather impressive to someone who's definitely never put this much time and patience into Legos. together how many times like oh. Six, about 12 or 13 displays this year cool well that is awesome <laughs> what what spurred you guys to get together and do this just the love of Legos yeah we've been some of us have been displaying together since you know the early 2000s uh, we always loved Legos and we the internet came around we found out that there's other people our age that do the same thing so that is really cool. I'm sorry, I'm Liz. <laughs> um, I've been told to get blog. <laughs> sorry if that was awkward. 
I'm calling you pretty sure. I may be as awkward as everyone else here and totally forgot not to just point a camera in someone's face and start asking questions because it really weirds them out. It really weirds me out. I'm weirded out right now. But we have RTP tubes. So that is cool. It's actually the R2D2 Builders Club. So that is kind of awesome. This one was actually going through the crowd earlier. It was kind of cute. Looks like this one has motion sensing. Questions for a blog? Um, yeah, what kind of questions? Um, just generally how you do this. Okay. Right. So. Let me know when you want to start. You can look inside them if you want. Okay. Um, so, how do you start with making one of these? Well, this one, um, there's no blueprints for this one right now. Uh huh. So, um, one of my Facebook friends, Michael McMaster, mm -hmm. built the one for Lucasfilm, and then I was able to get a couple dimensions off of his, and then. I scaled it to a drawing and we did photographs and screen grabs from the show and then uh, built him. He's all scratch built. It wow. Was, it was kind of a, um, we did a really hard uh, crash build on this one. It took six weeks. So usually they take longer than that. But uh, because it was all scratch built, I didn't have to wait for any parts or anything because everything that's on him just had to be built out of pieces. Of, like, if you want to look inside. Sure. Oh, wow. The two slides for his arms are actually from printers, from inkjet printers. That and is cool. And these are servos are here that open and close the doors on the side. And then the um, printer slides run his arms in and out like that. That is cool. And each one of the carriages has a, a servo on it. Uh-huh. So the servos are what make him wave. Cool. Does it all run off just one like DC motor or? Well, the um, there's three big 12 volt batteries inside of it. Uh huh. And one of those batteries runs all of his mechanics. So the batteries are hooked to a uh, radio receiver. Mm -hmm. The radio receiver sends the signals to the servos. So the servos have little motors inside of them, each one. There's also a motor that comes with the printer slide that uh -huh. was in the printer originally yep. that runs the inkjet carriage back and forth. And they, they're set to just run out or in. And there's a little servo here that actually turns the switch to forward or backwards when I move the switch. That is really cool. So it's just a matter of putting a lot of different little technologies together. Yep. You have the RC stuff from like a radio airplane. Mm -hmm. That's what the radio is from, from a radio airplane. And then the receivers is the same type that they would put in a little radio controlled airplane. Mm -hmm. So how did you get into doing this? I always liked R2-D2. <laughs> I was 22 years old when the original movie came out, uh -huh. so don't do any quick math, but that puts me around 60. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm the kid that never grew up, so I wanted to have this big toy to play with. So I built him, and he took about seven months. <laughs> and then when Rebels came out, it was just an opportunity for me to be able to slide another droid through past my wife, so I could have another droid. So we did a crash build on that. That is neat. But it was, it's just fun, you know, you bring them to things like this, mm -hmm. and kids like them, and, and, <laughs> and they're all interested to see how things work, so. So it's just fun, you know, it's just 
It's a way for me to play. I totally understand. How long has the club been open? I'm sorry, the club? How long has it been going on? Oh, the club, the R2-D2 Builders Club started back in the mid-90s. Oh, wow. So it's been going for a while. That's awesome. It was started by Dave Everett. Mm -hmm. And we have our own website. It's uh, astromech.net. And it's free to join. There's guys on there that will tell you how to do everything. And there's uh, threads on there that just explain everything. It just takes a lot of reading, a lot of research, and, and anybody can build either one of these two. Cool. Well, thank you. You're welcome. We have art. Thank 
now I kind of freeze. The job I does? <laughs> I didn't know they would just get you people to lead you through the con. Right, there you go. Oh. Well, I mean, that's 501st. Okay. They might have brought their own. Oh, that makes sense. Heralds. Thank you so much. All right. Cheese. I'll take, I'll take, there he is! Found me! Follow, follow me! They're really good costumes. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. That doesn't make you less seen. Over there. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Are you sure? <laughs> and you want to be a pretty. <laughs> We're just trying to get some fish. That's, that's literally uh, what we're doing. Right. It's <laughs> difficult. Okay, yeah, with Waldo. <laughs> we're going to be here a while. It's a barrier here that isn't actually 
actually like attached to anything, so that was worrisome. It's not much to report on up here, it's people playing games. This is a big place though. It's almost 7 o'clock in the evening and we are wrapping up for the day. It has been a wonderful day. We have had thousands of people come by. And part of what we did in order to share the art of 3D printing and embroidering and everything is print things that were really relatable to the audience. Five bucks material. It depends. Robots. Wow, that's... This was our big print of the day. This took about six and a half hours to print. It's on the best resolution possible. The uh, first person to correctly name this character will win a pair of Bolt Depot thread gauges. We had two people all day tell us what that was. That was kind of fun. You can see some of the things we printed. We're wrapping up prints over here. Oh, we have a diamond. This one fell on here. Yep. Over here. We printed a lot of cardices today. That was a very popular thing for people to watch. But we printed a lot of Star Wars things because you might have noticed our neighbors. So we ended up having a lot of Star Wars people over here today and they just really found it engaging to see something that they related to. It's doing white on top. Hey, what is it doing? It's doing white on top because the tension needs to be adjusted. We've just used it all day. Oh. The embroidery machine is a little tired so we'll calibrate it again in the morning before we keep going. And the... Uh, demos area has been going great. The Tesla coil has been running in small bursts all day. And we brought the computer so that we could play songs. And one of the fun things we did all day was we played music matching the different cosplay costumes that we found. So people got really excited when they could see something and went, oh, hey, I'm dressed up like that. And being able to do that on the fly was a really fun activity. It was really great experience for everybody today, and we will be back tomorrow from 10 until 5, so a shorter day. We're, I think we're all going to go eat and go to bed now because we're pretty tired.